So then we will discuss about Lorentz force. Lorentz force. What is Lorentz force? It is the sum of two forces. One due to the electric field and another due to magnetic field. When a charged particle is placed or subjected to, when a charged particle is subjected to electric field and magnetic field simultaneously, it will experience both force due to magnetic field as well as due to electric field. The combination of these two forces, the resultant of these two forces is called Lorentz force. Suppose that I have a, so what is Lorentz force? All Lorentz force. So basically, this is charge, which is charge Q moving at velocity V. Suppose this is the direction of magnetic field, which is into the paper, and uh, electric field is suppose from this end to this end. This is the direction of electric field vector, and this is the direction of magnetic field vector. Then this charge particle will experience QV is in this direction and V is cross cross is into QV, this is V, this is magnetic field is acting downward cross. So if Q is positive then QV cross V. So that means towards V. So this is where the force will act. This is the direction in which the force will act. Okay, so in this direction it will move. It will move in a direction perpendicular to the. So in this direction it will move. And if that uh, continues to be so, if continues to be so, the force is always uh, in this direction. The velocity is this. Then the fo force acts in that direction. The velocity is this. The the force will uh, turn the velocity change the direction of the velocity, change the direction of the particle, it will, instead of going straight, it will move in a curve, more towards the sides of the force, so particle will just move like that, okay. In this situation, there is no change, force still is perpendicular to this, then it will still more bend towards this, then also remains there. so it moves in a circular path like that, if you allow it to move, it will move in a circular path. And uh, what is the plane in which this is moving? The plane is this, because uh, as you see that the plane will be this, the magnetic field is uh, perpendicular, the velocity is in this direction, so the plane in which the magnetic field and the velocity lies is this plane, this plane, and the plane in which this is moving is this plane, both the planes are perpendicular. In fact, I will say, the body continues to move in this way, this plane, and uh, this plane, and this plane, this is the plane in which the particle is moving, and this is the plane in which the velocity vector and uh, the magnet field lies, this plane. These two planes are perpendicular. Okay. Now, anyway, now, uh, if force, uh, there also will be another force, 
because the electric field is also there. So in case of the electric field, the particle will move in a parabolic path if it is uh, because the force will always act. The positive charge is placed in the electric field, it will always act in the direction of the electric field. The electric field is always directed from positive to negative. So it is from left to right. And if the particle is projected in the direction of the electric field and that is positive charge, it will move in that direction. Because force of this will be in this direction. So force is Q into E in this direction. If the particle is suppose that it is projected in that direction, then also force will be in this direction. So in that case, the velocity is in the direction, this is in this direction. So the particle will finally move like this because velocity is given here. So, so this velocity will turn, turn, turn and becomes in the direction of the force. Because finally the velocity, so the body always attains uh, the direction of the force. That means if I project like this, it will move like that. If I project like this, then I also to move like that, always finally towards the in the direction of the force. So these two combination is called the uh, Lorentz force that are right here. That uh, Lorentz force F equals to sum of the force due to electric field plus force due to magnetic field in these two process. Force due to electric field electric field is QE and the uh, force due to magnetic field is sin theta. So, or in vector form, you can write uh, Q B cross B. So, the Lorentz force is QE plus B cross B. Okay. So, this is the formula for Lorentz force. This is what is Lorentz force. Now, V cross B can also be 0. Cross product is 0 when uh, P and V are parallel. If charge that we have also discussed, the charge is moving parallel to or anti parallel and if it will be 0 so in that case the Lorentz force is only Q into E ok similarly if <coughs> so this is how the Lorentz force are similarly uh, if they are perpendicular to each other and this uh, if B is perpendicular to B then Lorentz force is QE plus QE uh, <coughs> V is the source is maximum okay QE plus BV that means this is the formula for Lorentz force and uh, you can also find the acceleration of the um, acceleration of the charged particle. Okay.